guys we've come down to Leith Falls I think it's called uh, a recommendation from Mr Gary Goff himself and um, yeah thanks mate this is epic oh oh that is something else that is uh, so he gave us a little instructions how to get down here so glad he did thank you very much mate we met him well we met him twice now tour in scotland uh and uh he's gave us what he, he gave us one tip the one tip only was to come down to this this falls and photograph it uh so here we are oh wow how he described it is is Icelandic yeah he's right it's Icelandic it's epic it's beautiful it's stunning oh my god okay so I'll show you or not oh should I should I um, Okay, let me show you. This would be worth getting your feet wet for this, getting in the middle. But how I'm standing here almost looks like you're in the middle of the, the river itself. So that could actually work really well. So I'm, I'm going to get me get my camera out, get set up, and then see if we get a comp. Okay guys, got my first composition ready. I've come in this position because it looks like I'm standing in the middle of the waterfall. Uh, or in the middle of the river, sorry. But as it, as it comes out, it actually sweeps to my left hand side down here, as you can see behind me. Um, but because of this perspective, it looks like I'm actually right in the middle of the, the river as it comes away from the falls. What I've done, I've got different exposures and brackets with them. Um, just because the falls are falling that quick, the water's falling that quick in the water, I want to get some detail in that falls. And I'm about a 25th of a second, um, which has given me a nice little bit of detail in that water. Then, I want this, the river rapids, to be a bit, a little bit slower exposure. So what I've done, I've, um, so I've got to go to ISO 400 to get that, and I've got a polarizer on as well. So, go back to the ISO 100, drop it back down, F11, and it's given me a fifth of a second exposure. So we'll set, then, I want a more longer exposure, so we'll up the F drop, F16, down the exposure again, drop it so it's exposed correctly, sixth of a second, get the image. So I'm basically bracketing the shot, but it's all about how the water moves within the, the scene. Okay, I think now I'm probably going to move a fair bit closer so I can see the, the pool where the waterfall comes down to and try and get some nice movement in that water. 
So we've just come round the side of the waterfall here. Um, I've still got the waterfall bang in the middle of the, the image. And again, I've put some multiple exposures from diff different ones. Like I say, because the water is moving so quickly and then so slowly, I'm trying to get all that movement. And then what I'll do is I'll blend it all to how I feel within the, within the movement of the water. And, um, but I've got all that option then to blend whatever I want, where I want. Uh, it could, could work extremely well, actually. So that's, that's that one now. Now I'm thinking about some sort of either foreground interest, portrait shot, something like that. And uh, another thing is we're getting close to the waterfall. We're starting to get a bit of spray. What blends? Okay, I'm wondering now if I can get a really, really nice foreground interest. Some of these rocks look nice with the grass and moss on. I've got a little bit of heather sticking up here, so I might try that. Probably just down here. Um, I would also like to get down the side of the waterfall because I think it'd look pretty damn good. I'm not sure if I can get there. Uh, so we'll have a look at them images. Have a look at them comps, see if we can get something a little bit different. I've took one or two different images within this, this little area here, and I do think the composition works better because I've got the waterfall coming from the top right hand uh, corner of the image and then the water flows through into the bottom left. So I think the actual image flows better uh, than the waterfall actually being in the middle. I honestly think it works better. Uh, and then I've, I've done one or two, it's a little bit wider, uh, portrait shots, getting the nice shiny rocks on the right hand side here. Uh, and then the green foliage around it, so that looks nice as well. And the, the, not, the water as it rushes through and then crosses over and twists like a cork through round. So I'm hoping to catch a little bit of that detail. And uh, I think that might be a really nice image. So my next one now, oh, next image now is probably really to get a, a real nice foreground rock with a bit of moss and grass on. And then that's probably it actually. So, right, let me head back over there a little bit. Last shots of this location, uh, and I actually really like it. I've got two two rocks here, or two groups of rocks, and the water's running through, and it's running over some grass that's on the rocks. Nice bit of moss, uh, moss on the rocks, and it's leading in through. And then we've got the the waterfall in the background there. So I'll photo stack this one, and where I've focus stacked it. I've got that exposure for that area of focus stack, if that makes sense. And then again, the waterfall, I've had to quicken the exposure up because the water's falling so, so quick. Um, I really like this one. It's, it's, again, it just draws your eye into the image up to the, this beautiful waterfall. And I managed to get a bit of the top waterfall in because, because of how it comes down in the canyon, you're not getting any sky in, so that works as well. So that's made for a really, really nice image. Okay guys, I'm going to end this video here, thanks for watching, fantastic place, catch you guys soon.